10 deadliest predators you're glad are extinct. With lions, tigers, snakes, and all sorts of poisonous creatures roaming the jungle, it's easy for anyone to avoid the forests. But as unbelievable as it sounds, these predators may not be half as bad as people make them out to be. You see, there were far more vicious predators roaming the earth not long ago. In today's video, we're going to tell you about the 10 deadliest predators you're glad are extinct today. Just a warning, you definitely won't be the same after we're done. Let's start the deadliest journey. Number 1. Gigantothelopicus Black Eye, the largest ape. With King Kong's success at the box office, giant apes have always been a subject of interest for the public, which is why you might be interested to know about the largest ape that ever lived. Standing over 3 meters tall, Gigantolopithecus Blackie was not to be taken lightly. He weighed over 500 kilograms, so you can imagine the kind of strength the ape was packing. Definitely don't want to get punched by that kind of brute force. It inhabited the plains of China, India, and Vietnam about 300 to 1 million years ago. That was the time other vicious predators also walked the earth, but this ape had little to worry about since he could definitely hold its own in a fight. Now even though that kind of raw strength is scary, it was no carnivore. He was your friendly neighborhood herbivore that preferred eating grass. Maybe giant apes and humans can be friends after all. Number 2. Arctodicimus Meet Arctodicimus, the greatest bear ever to walk the planet. Hailing from North America around 12,500 to 800,000 years ago, these ancient bears could have anyone running with their tail between their feet. Our ancestors had their hands quite full with this beast as it towered over 4 meters tall. Weighing about a ton, the Arctodicimus could bring down a bison without a problem. They don't look like they're related to the friendly grizzlies and pandas we know today. Just imagine your jungle retreat being plagued by the Arctodicimus. Quite frankly, we'd never be going to the jungle if that was the case. Glad Mother Nature took the course with this one. Number 3. Belzebuffo Mpinga now we go back to Madagascar 70 million years ago to meet the Bezabufa Mpinga. As an insect or even a small dinosaur, you did not want to get on the bad side of this amphibian. Living in the crustaceous undergrowth, the Bezabufa Mpinga was a nightmare for those small creatures. Measuring 40 centimeters long with a weight of 4 kilograms, the amphibian is bigger in size than the largest frog today. What made the amphibian so deadly was that it'd lie hidden in the lush foliage, waiting for unsuspecting prey. When the time was right, the amphibian would then go off like an aggressive prehistoric landmine, snapping up its prey in its enormous jaws. Number 4. Titanoboa serogenesis If you thought anacondas were bad, wait till you meet the Titanoboa. Hailing from Colombia around 58 to 60 million years ago is one deadly creature that can take on a crocodile of all animals. Measuring over 13 meters in length and weighing more than 1,100 kilograms, the Titanoboa really was a beast. The body alone was something to be afraid of as it reached a width equal to that of a man's. Any prey that made the mistake of nearing waters infested with this beast would quickly meet death by good old constriction. Number 5. Euphibaria, Giant Centipede If there's one thing we can agree on, it's that insects are the worst. Whether they're snakes or snails, Mother Nature should have kept this one in the idea box. While all insects are hated equally, centipedes rank near the top and the most hated. Why does anyone need a hundred tiny legs? Not to mention that their slithering snake-like motion sends a shiver down anyone's spine. If you agree with all that, then get ready to hear all about Euphobaria. They may have a fancy name, but they pretty much resemble centipedes except for one small difference. Size. You see, they are giant versions of your local centipede. Yeah, that sounds like something straight out of a nightmare. These creatures were over three feet long. Of course, the most important question anyone has with a creature about this is what it eats. Well, for reference, normal centipedes feed on birds, so we'll leave the rest to your imagination. Number 6. Daedon Shoshensis If you were to time travel back to North America around 18 to 25 million years ago, you'd cross paths with the Daedon Shoshonesis. It may look like something like a dog or at least someone related to the canine, but this is one four-legged creature you don't want to meet. Make no mistake, this is nothing but a hundred levels of anger. The carnivorous hog was a killing machine with its meter-long skull fitted with formidable jaws. With teeth sharp enough to cut through flesh and bone alike, you want to put at least a hundred feet distance between you and this beast. With that said, these creatures were an absolute nightmare for the horses and cattle at the time. Good thing they went extinct when they did, because we might be looking at a far lesser sheep today. Number 7. Mega Piranha 
We're all acquainted with the piranha. These killer fish have given us quite the scare in a number of horror films. It's a good thing that they're limited to these South American waters. Another good thing is that they're pretty small in size. Imagine something the size of a shark infesting our oceans. Yeah, pretty sure we'd never sail again. Unfortunately, our ancestors had to deal with piranhas bigger than anything you could ever imagine. Weighing 20 to 30 pounds, the mega piranha is the ancient relative of the good old piranha that we know today. For context, our version weighs about 2 pounds. The mega piranhas inhabited South America between 10 and 6 million years ago. These were an absolute menace for the rest of the animal kingdom as they fed on the crocodiles and snakes of that time. Number 8. Dunklestoas Torelli The Dunklestoas Torelli is one fish you don't want in your aquarium. It's one of the deadliest predators that we're glad is nowhere near us anymore. About 400 million years ago, the Dunklestoas Torelli was found everywhere. Running 10 meters in length, the fish was no easy catch. In fact, as a fisherman, you might find the roles reversed a bit, as the fish can bite down to the force of 5,000 newtons. Not only that, but it could open its jaw in one-fifth of a second, sucking every unlucky prey in a current into its mouth. Followed by a powerful bite, it was lights out for the small animals. Number 9. Terror Birds If you thought the ostrich was an evil bird, wait till you meet the terror birds. As if their name is any clue, terror birds are, or more accurately, were the stuff of nightmares. Whoever thought their name was spot on? Standing at 10 feet tall, these were vicious creatures. They roamed the plains of South America 60 million years ago, along with a few other scary predators in Central America. During their time, these guys were on the top of the food chain. When it came to being a killing machine, these guys were perfect, which is why it's a good thing Mother Nature didn't give them the ability to fly. Imagine the wreckage they'd cause then. Still, without the wings, their massive beaks were something to be wary of. Good thing they went extinct around 2 million years ago. Number 10. Camara Serreras After watching the Pirates of the Caribbean, it's safe to say that most of us are glad that the giant squid is the stuff of fictional stories only. Or is it? About 470 to 460 million years ago, the ever so massive Camara Serres inhabited our oceans. Measuring 20 to 40 feet in size, it was something to be afraid of. Perhaps even more than the Kraken. At that size, it's ridiculous to imagine just how much strength this ancient squid must have been packing. If there were ships back then, the Camarasaurus body count would have been through the roof. Do you really think there's something out there that can escape its tentacles? Maybe the Megalodon, perhaps? Now that's a battle we'd pay to see. The Camarasaurus shows off a giant cone-like shell that's just another reason for us to avoid the ocean. And that's a wrap for this video. Which of these creatures are you thankful don't exist anymore? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you next time.